The NFL is preaching safety. The NFL preaches safety constantly. We have outlawed the crackback. We have outlawed helmet to helmet hits. Uh, and while players are wearing helmets, we have outlawed the hip drop tackle, which makes goal line defense virtually useless and irrelevant. We have outlawed the horse collar tackle. We have outlawed tackling QBs low. We have outlawed ta tackling QBs high. We have outlawed landing on a QB after tackling him. We have outlawed blindside blocks on either side of the ball. We have outlawed the, we outlawed the wedge in kickoff return. We have now outlawed kickoffs to the point where they're going to be five yards apart and have more kickoff returns for touchdown than you've ever seen in the history of the league. We outlined the real onside kick back in the day where you could overload a side, which actually gave the kicking team a chance to get the ball. And we also made them come closer because they used to be able to run from 10 yards. Now they can run from five. Or can they even run now? I don't know anymore. We have changed the rules to where football fucking sucks. Yet. Huh? You can't, you run. can't run. Okay. No. You can? You can't. No, you so can't. You can't, even run. you can't. So you can't even get a running start on kickoff anymore. Yet. We have eliminated one preseason game to add one regular season game. How is that a safety situation there? Now they want to move it to 18 games. Eliminate another preseason game, which makes, I don't know, makes it hard for an undrafted free agent and lesser known lower draft picks to get actually make a team. We have Thursday night games, four days after a football game. Tell me, Nick, is that good for your body? It's not no. good. N with no practice. Oh, we, practice have games in, we have games in other countries. Expect guys to come back and play. I know they're supposedly have. They usually get a week off after that. But I don't give a goddamn because they came off of playing a game the week before and got to fly halfway across the world to play in London or Germany or whatever other country they want to play in because they want to put football in these damn places. How Holy do do crap. I, I don't know. But <laughs> it, it's, that would be crazy. Is CTE real? Sure, it's real, but you don't know about it till you're dead. They can't cut. They don't. They can't tell you until they cut your head open. For Christ's sakes, these are football players. They decided to play football. I'm not saying CTE is not real, but you're sitting here crying for fucking safety while and outlawing everything while at the same time adding games. It's hypocrisy. It's absolute hypocrisy. And now you want players to put on a goddamn rubber contraption on their head? You know what happens when rubber meets the road? It does that. It does not budge. If your head lands on rubber freaking grass, which is not even real, what's going to happen? The head will drive into the ground and it will not move. The helmets that players wear are slick. They have lacquer. They're painted. They slide a lot better. Oh, and we have a whole bunch of fields that are turf that shouldn't be turf. For Christ's sakes, these are billion-dollar organizations. Can they not pay for grass? Can they not pay for water to water the lawn before a game and have grass that's not dead? Every damn team has complained about the New York Giants facility and the Jets facility, have they not? They've all complained about it. Do they fix it? No. But they care about safety. The damn helmet guardian was made for seven on seven football. The owner of the company, it was made for seven on seven football, which is flag or tag football. It's not real football. Thank you for watching. Come on now the podcast, please be sure to subscribe, like comment and ring that bell. So you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at come on now podcast and X and TikTok at come on now pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.